So let's start this 6.5 liter turbo diesel video off with the cold start. And you know what happens on a diesel's cold start, so why not get you a little image of that? So here we go. No block heater, just glow plugs 30 degrees. Alright tubers, so here she is, it's a 1997 Chevrolet K2500 HD. Uh, this one in particular is equipped with a 6.5 liter Detroit turbo diesel. Right now I have 33 by 12.8, or 12.5s on here. Those are going to be replaced soon. There are eight lugs because it's HD. It is a long box, extended cab with sliding seats. It does not have a third door. Overall, probably about 20 feet long. It's a bitch to park, I'll tell you that much. Um, runs pretty damn good, especially for a 97. It has a Western file bracket on it. When I bought it, it did have the plow. I did not keep the plow, though. I don't really have much use for it right now. I did put a Wolo Bad Boy air horn on it. And an amber strobe on top. But I'll be getting a full-size light bar eventually. As you can see, I had it out in the mud the other day. Um, I'm, I am going to get Skyjacker off-road shocks, but I just don't have them right now. Right now it still has a stock exhaust system on it, but I plan on changing that. Uh, one of the really nice features of this, with the 8 foot bed, is back on the rear end, we have a Tommy gate. So that'll drop down and pick up and move whatever I need. As you can see, we have the hitch set up. That's just covering my license plate. And we do have trailer braking. Go ahead and take a trip inside the cab. Show you what it's like in here. I'll turn down the air conditioning a little. Well, it's not exactly air conditioning, it's heat, but... Um, it's pretty roomy. The back's not extremely comfortable, but it gets the job done. It can seat six in total, not very comfortably. Oh. The gas mileage on it is pretty good. That is probably about 18 to the gallon in the city and probably about 20 on the road, you know. It does have cruise control. It has a 5-speed NV4500 transmission on it, which is new. I have not replaced the radio yet. Radio is decent, but it does not have a CD player or an MP3 hookup. Heat and air conditioning work great. Um, the rear view mirror seems a little undersized for such a big truck, but um, lots of storage in here. Uh, that back seat folds up, and you can store junk under there. Um, overall, it's a real nice truck. It does have four-wheel drive, of course, because I would not buy a vehicle without four-wheel drive. Four lows forward, four highs back, obviously. Um, clutch is relatively new on it. That's it grabs. I know the diesel has a lot of power, but that clutch grabs so soon. I'll show you. I'll just put it in second gear. I don't even use first gear. I, it's, I just use it as a granny gear. Now I'm just going to take my foot off the brake here. And I'm going to set it on the floor, my right foot, you know? Okay, now watch what happens. We're moving. So, you know, clutch is good. Um, it drives real nice. I mean, 
I love driving five speed and you know it's just a it's just a ball to drive. Um top of the red line's at five thousand. I've never had it up there. I know the six fives had a problem with overheating, so I'm real careful about that. Um like I said, heat and air conditioning work good. Let's go ahead and take a trip under the hood. As you can see, the truck used to be red before it got painted this teal color. It has a new alternator, new belt tensioner, new, uh, new 12 volt air horn. This truck does need a lot of cosmetics though. For example, this front grille is held on by two things. Right here, this all purpose electrical wire, and one bolt. Lights are dislodged, you know. Bumper's not on too good. Take another trip inside the cab and show you some more. Parking brake release lever's missing. Hood top lever's missing. I just pulled the cable with the with my pliers, but it's good cleaning too, but overall a real nice truck. I like the Amber Stroke. But I'd really like to have a full-size light bar. I'll give you a few revs. I don't rev too high. I'll rev to about 3,000. Has 157,000 miles on it. Um, if anybody's gonna ask, no, I'm not interested in selling it. Oh, I love that smell. Has power windows, power door locks, power lumbar support in the seats. Um, seats are manual though. But overall, a real nice truck. But yeah. Tommy lifts real nice. I'm going to have a lot of videos with this truck. I've been shooting for months with it. I just haven't had time to make this video, so I didn't want to put those videos up until I, you know, until I told you guys about the truck. So, here it is. And, um, that's pretty much it, you know. I'm going to have a lot and a lot of videos with this truck. So, I guess... Close that baby. I really like the lights on top, the running lights. So, um, I guess I'll throw the camera in the dash and you guys can see me riding with it. Alright, tubers now. First of all, let's turn that off. Now, this is not a very adequate way of taping, but I don't have a helper with me right now. And I also don't have a tripod with me, so we'll give you guys a little ride. It is a five speed, so start off here in reverse. May get just a tad bumpy depending on how rough I want to drive. Back on. Like, you fell. All right, I guess I'll just try and hold you. <laughs> All right, reverse. And then let's back her up. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Neutral. Second. And let's go. Wow, shifting's really a pain while holding the camera. I haven't seen too many tubers try to do this. 
but oh here's my 12 volt air horn and, and diesel one is pretty loud but pop you out it's not insanely loud but it gets the job done my horns were broken it was just cheaper for me to buy that um, it does have dual batteries, as you could probably assume, since it's a uh, diesel. We'll go ahead and take a right here, and bear with me. I don't know. I'm going to have to get into fourth gear, so. I shifted about 2,000. On a diesel that, I don't know what you guys are thinking, on a diesel that's not insanely high, but you don't want to shift too high, but we'll just take a little cruise down this road. Um, new work that I've done to it, I put new brake pads and calipers on it. I did that at Scott's house, I'll have a video of that coming up probably, oh, I don't know, next weekend. I just wanted to get this up first, because, you know, Scott already has his video up, so... If you watch uh, Need More Horsepower's channel, you already know what this is, but I figured, he, he gave me a text this morning, vids up, I'm like, oh gosh, I better go out and make that video so that you guys know about the truck. So, here, we'll pick up the speed a little. I'm not going to go into fifth gear going up this hill, but I'm going to run a 45 here. I really like the truck a lot though, and I'll tell you one thing, that radio gets damn loud. It probably has a souped up amplifier so that you can hear it over the diesel engine, but damn that is loud. So this is going to be kind of hard, but we're going to turn around somewhere up here. Alright, put her in neutral. Slow down, turn into this right here. So I'll definitely have some mudding videos for you guys. Especially once, all right. Here we go, we're in reverse. Especially once uh, I get those new shocks on here. I'm hoping to get Skyjackers or Ranchos or some kind of off-roading shocks, you know. But, yep, this is her. I'll let you guys watch my tack while I shift. So, tubers, tell me what you think. You know, Titleist 07 has my brother, you know. He has the 95, I want to say, um, turbo diesel. And that, it's the exact same truck as this. The, the style had changed a little, but... Um, I had mine before his, I just haven't had a video on it. I've had this truck for a few months now, but I really like it. Um, has a little cool leak, has a little oil leak. It's not, those aren't major though, so you know. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the truck, and if you have any video requests for it, I guess give them to me. Um, like I said, I have a video of me doing calipers and pads on it with Scott. And I thought about doing a video putting the air horn on here. I didn't get around to it, though. Um, I changed the oil last weekend. I didn't get a video of that, you know. Sorry, guys. I've been kind of getting kind of lazy with the videos. I'm going to try and pick it up a little. But it's still cold as hell out here. So thanks for watching, tubers. Have a great day. St. Louis sucks. 9119 Productions.